If you are one of the church faithful and you accept the word of the preachers and the prophets as gospel, you have probably heard it said, and maybe some of you even believe it, that all the blame for all the trials and all the tribulations of the world rest squarely at the feet of women. According to the teachings, it was a woman who committed the original sin. It was a woman who broke the first cardinal rule. All of society's troubles, every one of them is woman's fault. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. Now how can you argue with that? It was Eve who was beguiled by the serpent in the Garden of Eden. It was Eve who saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise. It was Eve who took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave it to her husband also and he did eat. Because of what Eve did, the wrath of God has befallen us all. God's punishment upon Eve, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. God's punishment upon Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and thou hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, and unto dust thou shalt return. The words of the good book are used by the preachers and the prophets and by the many, many men out there who want to be boss to get us to accept what they decide is our fate. If they have their way, we should stop trying to be whole individuals because we are no more than a mere part of a man formed from a simple rib bone, not from the dust of the earth, as every other creature was at the time of creation. We are an afterthought, created from man for man, a variation recast from the original male mold. According to those who would have us back in the fields and the kitchens and the bedrooms, the world is in confusion because women have not remained in their designated roles. Men don't know where they stand anymore. They no longer recognize what their role is in the family or in the society. Because the traditional roles and traditional rules are no longer adhered to, many men have lost their way and so many end up as criminals and as drunks and addicts and then at places like the cemetery and bordelais. But is that really our fault? And now our responsibility to repair. Ladies, since they don't have solutions, it appears that it is our duty to save our society and save our men from themselves. We have to help build them a sense of purpose, make them feel needed, that without them we would be nothing. We could not survive. To achieve this, how many of you are prepared to risk giving up your employment and staying at home, keeping house and caring for the children, while your man goes out to work to earn enough to keep the family healthy and happy? Those of you who are unmarried, are you willing to give up your jobs so that there will be jobs enough available for all the men of St. Lucia? So that we can have them all gainfully employed and confident again and successful? and now acceptable as eligible bachelors, available to the many lonely ladies who would now be sitting at home waiting for marriage proposals so that they could now fulfill their life's purpose. Now there's a novel idea. The government and the private sector are supposed to be getting together to figure out how to address the many issues which now plague our society. So ladies, 
how about we all make that sacrifice? For the good of this country, let us all stay at home and let the men go back to where it was before. Them in charge and we waiting for them to ride up on white horses, sweep us off our feet, take care of us, and we all live happily ever after. Somebody, wake me up. I am having a fairy tale dream. For a moment I dozed off into the land of never. In this world, in this life, I will always preach women's liberation and responsibility for self. And I will continue to demand my right as a whole person to determine my own destiny. And if disobedience to the preacher's interpretation of the written word of the good book is a sin, I'll take my chances on pleading my case to avoid that other hell. For commentary, I am Lorraine Deborah Glass.